your hands in the air and Dr. Do, Dr. Do, mixing sodas with the beer and Dr. Do, Dr. Do, so why don't everybody cheer it? Dr. Do, Dr. Do. What is y'all, your social media platform artist and the host of the great YouTube channel. I'm your host of the channel, Dr. Do here, everyone. How are we on this wonderful Sunday afternoon, all right, y'all? I hope y'all join your Sunday right here and all the, all the things you've done so far this Sunday. Today's video, we are going to do a, a story that I want to be talking about. I've been one, looking at this story for some for a long for a while for over a year now, learning about this addiction of this pill and the company who made this and the, the man who was responsible for the lives of hundreds of thousands of Americans. This video, I want to talk to you about oxycontin and the one, man who ever made this addiction drug was Richard Sackler, head of the former medical company of Purdue Market. In this video, I want to talk about this story because this is a made me interested because it took me it been it took me a year to w learn about this story and what kind of thing that it would do to a human person mind and body itself. Before we get started on this video, if you guys new to the channel, please subscribe, all right? We are at 4,945 subscribers today. We are oh, we are 55 subs to go till we hit 5K subscribers. We are getting close, y'all. We are so close. Look at that. We are like, like 60, 55% till we hit 5k subscribers because this is a big opportunity for our channel for the channel to grow we want people to know who who what who a doctor do and what he does on this on this channel because we want to hit 5k and i can make you guys the drink that we y'all are begging for all right y'all so let's get this started all right Oxycontin was a former medication pill that was said that would help you ease the pain within the next 24 hours so that way you won't feel any pain that you are having. But however, the pill, Oxycontin, wasn't actually a drug that could help a person help at all. Or make, but instead of get, relieving the pain, it make you worse, make you addicted to this a pill, Oxycontin. If you guys don't know what Oxycontin in there, it had opioid, the tip um, drug, no, like opioid and heroin, and what else? What else? Hey, Josh. Oh my. And the pill is supposed to help any patient, like a person who recently got injured from a car accident or injury that happened to you while, like, by right now, you had. In the pharmacy, I recommend you to take oxycontin to help you relieve the pain and stuff. But however, this stuff doesn't make you help. Doesn't help person. It will make you worse. The reason why? Because once you take one pill of this stuff, it you won't it would you won't turn back because it was very addicting. The one who created this pill, Richard Sackler. He was the former head of a market health and pharmacy known as Prodium, right? Prodium Pharmacy. It was supposed to be a company, a medical company that's supposed to help people that are patient or patient that were came out of an injured an incident or accident that happened to them. Richard Shackler was the head of that company who he believed that this pill would help relieve pain and give you ple press pleasure. He was the nephew of an, of a big another of a big huge family company named Arthur Sackler. He took the handle from Arthur Sackler back in 1989. And when he when Arthur died, when Arthur died, the Sackler family were in a crisis at first because their comp their family company were after almost gone to bankruptcy because their the uncle or the father of father of the family wasn't doing their job of doing pharmacy. Instead, they were just chit chatting and talking fancy 
talking about fancy stuff, but all of that. But when Richard Shackler took the handle from his uncle, he wanted to turn things around by creating a pill that would help relieve pain and give you pleasure to do whatever that you want to do. So, during, from somewhere between 1989 and 1998, he tried. He went to test uh, the pill out to see how addiction, how powerful it is, will work. He first off he used the mice as a first subject to see how they will react, how they would do. When he thinks that it, they were good to be good to use it on human because he thought the mice were being were doing great without feeling any pain at all and so he decided to do human texting in Puerto Rico around there using cancer patients to see how much pain will be gone out of their bodies and stuff and then to and then straight to America to see how the patient would do but however, no way. What they we didn't know that all those stages wasn't didn't do well at all. Just around at all because all these patients, including the mice, when you take it off of them, they become rage aggressive. Well, the pain, well, the pills, because once the pain is gone, instead of 24 hours, it like lasted like eight or ten hours. Which is supposed to release a person like a person from it, from from injury from a back pain. It's supposed to last 24 hours, but not 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 last longer than we thought that they thought. But they didn't care. Why? Uh, right? They all they see is if the pain gone, then it works to them because the patients and the tech subject that were on trials, they didn't last long. Of the 180 patients, only over like two thirds of them drop out of that stage. But however, they still continue to try to sell the pills to small towns all over America and then try to get the FDA to approve of that. So that what they did, men like Curtis White, uh, what the head, head FDA agent, at the time, he been always saying no, no stuff. Eventually, the Richard Shackler and Produ managed to get him to say yes, in some way, like find him to parties or something like that. Because Rick, the Shackler family, including Richard, had been using this tactic to please doctors, pharmaceuticals, and FDA agency members as well by giving them something they never, get, never had, like. Fight them to party, fight them to dinner and stuff. They use the sellers to have them sell the pill to the pharmaceutical companies and low doctor companies in town or cities, which is which which got them easily manipulated and decided to make them use them once and for all. It was crazy how this guy had done to the people. Manipulate them, trick them to make them test, make them think that it will help them. And also, do you know what they say? This pill, oxycodone, is one percent, one percent less, one percent addictive. That means ninety-nine percent of it is not addictive. Well, they lie about that because it said one percent addictive, it's ninety-nine percent addicted all over across the country. FBI. And the, the, the FBI decided to investigate about that around that time, trying to figure out what kind of drug will be a drug are the are people over US are using. It is Articotti becomes something very big in this country. In nineteen ninety eight, the age of opioid pandemic had begun in that year. And it spread all over across towns and then to city and to other states and this pill is not just used for medication it will get you messed up in the brain like it's a drug addiction drug addiction it like it like you you can use it like cocaine for example but much worse because I've been watching some story about that I saw two document two shows 
Painkiller from Netflix and the other one from Hulu with Michael Keaton. I've been, it got me interested about that because I know for the fact that doctors should supposed to know better than not to trust company that give people that kind of pill, kind of pill that would cause a person mindset to change alternatively if you take OxyContin. That one, you also, why, why do you think I'm called Dr. Dude for? Not because of Dr. Pepper Mountain Dew, because I know about medical stuff when I was in high school, because from ninth grade to, to my graduation, I learned about medication, what does other medica medical stuff do does for a human person. Because I've been studying, uh, studying medical all my life in high school. It got me, I, I did if I wanted to be a doctor in the future someday, but get what I mean? And so, this pill, it became a pandemic, spreading to all over the U.S., becoming like the drug, become a new drug for people who have drug addiction, people who have mm, a lot of things in their bodies, who need anything to get them messed up in the brain. But if you take too many Oxycontin, you will overdose of it. Sure, you... It surely does hurt your brain. It causes a lot of body, like the whole entire body system, to shut down badly. And you can, it, and all the hurt mess up your mind. Like it would damage not just your your organs, and also your brain, because this stuff can hurt you so bad that there's no stopping, there's no turning back. And so, so the FBI. The CIA and the police decided to investigate this oxycontin and learn about why the people are so addicted to it, and and they trying to to put this company down for doing something like that. But Richard Shackler and his goons and his family member are trying to tell them we are not the one who's giving these people pills. All right. The pharmaceutical department give them the pills for patients who in pain. All right, they don't want to take responsibility for the lives of of the people who they have been buying from. And they say we are not. They're they're saying that the victims are not victims. They're victimizers. They the one who is putting themselves in risk, not us. They they say, and so. They continue to sell this stuff. Like they, they got billions of dollars from OxyContin. They have sold a lot, including drug dealers take take OxyContin, pretend they're a patient or injured person. When they go to medical in the medical pharmacy, when they take OxyContin, they use it, put them back, sell them to any dealer. I mean, give them to dealers and sell them to anyone who want to buy this stuff. You get why you see where I'm going there, and it it's so bad that police officer had to sack every drug, every dealer's place at sea to find OxyContin. All right, and so the FBI tried to sue the com companies that the company for for misusing the drug and using it to have people get so addicted of it. But however, they just keep on loading up saying that they are not the one who giving them to drug dealers. People give, their customer gives them to drug dealers. The pharmaceutical company, the pharmaceutical doctor give them the pills to patients that who are not really patient at all. And so eventually, there have been a lot of people who work with the produce company and Richard Shackler has started to come out and telling them what they really been doing to the people. And so the FBI and the CIA and the, uh, and the other con members of the government decided to have enough evidence to put this company down. It took them two decades to have this company down until 2018 when Purdue what, when bank announced their bankruptcy. Because of all that lawsuit, they have been ha they have been getting from other cup from people from family members who who family who children or their husband or wife die from the drugs. Even children, like the age of seventeen, I mean sixteen or seventeen, been doing oxycontin, pretending to be injured from 
be, tend to be injured people, but instead they are just crazy kids who want to be on meth, be on drugs. It like way worse than cocaine. Telling you that. But if you think about trying to with, try to withdraw from this stuff, it had a lot of side effects and a crazy side effects. Stuff like you would be seething, you'd be on fire, you'd be thinking you're in pain and stuff. Yeah, it's really hard to detox yourself from this, from Oxycontin. Ugh, God, that is messed up. Like, it, it, you, this is one of the reasons why we people in America need to be careful what they are, we are buying from pharmaceutical companies. Because we don't know what kind of effect we have done to a person mindset. Alright? Eventually, while right they're bankruptcy, Richard Shackler and his family are responsible for over 300 American lives from 1998 to 2018. 300,000 lives. Or it consider be more than that, like a half a million by now. And eventually, the, com the family didn't get sued out at home. They say, they keep on saying that we didn't do this. We are, they don't evidence about killing these people at all. Eventually, they got let go by the, by the police and the government itself. Eventually, they no longer have the ownership of produce no more. Leaving them, making them now full, not they're not vulnerable at all from this. Eventually, Richard Shackler, it so it could they consider the Austin Cotton family, the one the worst family drug, one the worst drug dealers in the world at that time. Eventually, Richard Shackler and his family managed to come managed to get over 11 billion dollars they which they are still own they still own that money to this day there's there they cannot be touched they say now what happened to richard shackler we don't we, i think i heard that he probably make another co pharmaceutical company or something like that i don't think it will be a good one for him he probably going to do something stupid something bad he would make in the future or some other family member of his going to be doing something messed up. And so, OxyContin is still being used to this day, not in pharma pharmacies or doc I mean, hospitals no more. It says OxyContin is being used by dealers now. Somewhere that with they will continue to have continue to sell to this day. I felt sad for the families who lost their moms or their dads or their brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, nephew or cousin from this drug. I felt sorry for y'all. I had you I I have respect for those who cannot handle something like that. I'm so I so did it me saying so sorry for all the things that they did to y'all. They should never done it to their own cu customer, their own citizens. Did it awful the way he and his family did. He should be in jail for what he done to the whole Thai country. And so there you have it. This is the story I want to talk to you about and what kind of thing that this stuff would do to a human being. And there you have it. This is my video I want to do about, alright? Thank you so much for watching this channel, this video. I hope you all have a great day. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification down below. I hope you all, all have a great day. Before, but, but however, if you guys want, I, if you guys want Dr. Dude merchandise, go to Cotton Bureau, alright? I will put the link down below so you can get your a shirt, sweater, long sleeve shirt or the drink wears all right y'all i hope y'all have a great day all right peace out